I've been bullied a lot for a few years, actually. It just, it gets to you eventually. At first, it's kind of like, really? You're talking to you about what? Why are you so mad at me? Previously on Young Politics. You most associate yourself as being a libertarian. What does that mean? It represents the structure that this, that this government was founded on, and it gives people the right to change their government as the world changes. If you want it, you gotta put a ring on it. We were one of the lucky few in 2008. Uh, actually, we just celebrated our four-year anniversary last week. Come on, dude, you don't want your political views? I think I was interested in politics, at least on a small scale, as a kid. I mean, I think the Citizens United case is the interesting thing to see. Let's just spend as much as we want. This is what we call the down ticket. Local, local politics. Okay. This is the stuff that matters. I, I want to push people to get more involved in local politics. You do. Versus those big presidential campaigns. Participatory politics. Ever heard of this phrase? Participatory politics are acts such as forming online political groups, like the Free Child Project, circulating a blog about a political issue, like the Map Pack, honoring top 40 under 40, forwarding political videos to friends, like Young Politics. Participatory politics is a new media, peer to peer political movement jump started by like minded young Americans. Hey everybody, it's Matt Lanter from 90210. Bullying is never right, okay? And it's not cool. Using the internet to bully someone is called cyberbullying. And sadly, this is becoming a huge problem in today's schools. The consequences for bullying can be disastrous, both for the victims and the perpetrators. It's Jacob uh, with MyElectionPopOff.com. The energy and impact of this movement can be felt globally. I was quite honored when Channel 3 Thailand wanted to do a cover story on young politics because young people in other countries are very intrigued to know how young Americans think and feel about the government and issues that affect our globe. Young Politics เป็นรายการเกี่ยวกับการเมืองสหรัฐรุ่นล้วนที่ก่อตั้งโดยกลุ่มคนรุ่นใหม่ Pro Russell It's a docu series um, and we document my journey to again bring together a group of people For the first time in my life, I was feeling a bit ashamed to be black, and I don't think anyone, you know, because I'm proud of my heritage and stuff, I don't think anyone should, nobody has the right to take that away from you, nobody should, should make you feel inferior in your own skin. The one issue that affected me personally growing up is the ongoing issue of racism and how racism and shameful legacies shape policy in our communities. They end up to say because, it's because you're black, so... You can hang out with her, her and her son. Oh, so she kind of very openly said that the yeah. reason why her son could not hang out with you and yeah. your family was because uh, you guys are black. Yeah. Honestly, my parents probably wouldn't be too happy because if I was to marry a black girl, um, you're connected to their family now, and who knows what her family is really like. I invited everyone to visit Kimmy O. Daniels, a 32nd degree Grand Mason of the Prince Hall Mason Lodge on 41st and Figueroa for three reasons. I used to live in South Los Angeles for six months when I first arrived in LA. LA is no different from Beverly Hills, no different from Orange County, no different from, let's say, Garden Grove. Any community where the foundation, culture that started it, it just keeps growing as far as the facts. Everyone has the same opportunity. This was the location of the 1992 L.A. race riots. It is a shocking development in the Sami Valley. Not guilty, that's what the Los Angeles police officers accused of Rodney King heard just within the hour. The riots wasn't so much about the riots. It was about we felt like our voice wasn't being heard. So once we gave that reaction, then everyone had no point but to stop and listen to what was being said. By having this verdict, what these people have done, it lit the fuse to a bomb. And lastly, 15 of our country's 44 presidents are verifiable members of Freemasonry. And there are some historical facts about U.S. racial divisions in 
Freemasonry. My statements is strictly my opinion. I'm not representing masonry as a whole. It's a brotherhood of individuals that kind of work together and help you learn how to be a better you. You eliminate your excuses and you become more accountable for your actions. Racial politics in our American society, what does that mean for, to you and your perception and what you stand for as a Mason? I mean, I think that when you use words like racism, it's just crutches because you can't find the vocabulary to get your point across. I don't represent all Masons. I represent Kimio J. Daniels, a Prince Hall Mason. So the, there's a position from Brother John B. Williams, who is a 33rd degree Mason, um, and, and his position is basically that American Freemasonry is racist and no less racist than the society that it spawned. spawned it. I'd like to ask you, what year did you get that quote? 1996. You know how many things has happened in life 16 years ago? There, are, there have been in times past a, a huge, huge um, barrier between the white Freemasons and the black Freemasons, but aren't you guys isn't it all one brotherhood? It is one brotherhood, but however, okay. Because mm. I got to word this correctly. Sure, take your time. Um, Everybody's got a voice and they should be heard. Hello, my name is Jafar Richardson. I'm a blogger at myelectionpopoff.com. Is it a show? Yeah. You walked the camera like you was ready for it, so I did <laughs> Well, okay, keep on talking, young people. Oh, you. You know what I mean? And we need to educate them more about the politics of what's going on. What's your name? I'm very short. It's nice to meet you. My name is April. You look like April. God is a friend. I asked Jacob to walk the streets with each one of our advocates and discuss unbiasedly about past and present issues regarding this community and racism. Are you going to vote? Are you interested in voting for real? Yeah. Why is it important to you, do you think? Why is it important? How about yeah. put it? You know what? The first election you can take part in is going to be in May 5th, I believe, and that's when LA chooses their mayor. Bye. Bye. When the LA, you know, riots were occurring, and then <laughs> compared to maybe tonight, I honestly do feel like probably much more comfortable than I would have. As far as like safety and, and the, the feeling that you get from the people on the streets. But looking around, it's hard for me to know if this community is in an upswing from what it was 15, 20 years ago. And also, if you're comparing it to other neighborhoods, uh, it's it's hard to say. I do see like an upswing, maybe, maybe not. I do think like. People are working hard to make it here. The Declaration of Independence says, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We all belong to one hominic species, Homo sapiens sapien, which is Latin for wise men, or annoying men. In other words, there's only one human race. Till next time.